Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I've just been told off a very good source that Kel Brook's done with boxing and that he's retired. That's what I'm hearing. So if that's true, I think it's a shame. I think he could have been pound for pound one of the greats. I mean, he made the Ring Magazine top 10, didn't he, at one point in his career. He is that good, or he was that good, but... I think that bad advice and bad matchmaking and being used by Eddie Hearn and certain people and maybe not him not being dedicated to his sport, I think it spoiled him because his talent was off the charts. Off the charts. And I don't think he'll ever hit the heights of when he beat Sean Porter. I think it's been downhill since then. From bad matchmaking and Eddie Hearn dressing fights up. The Frankie Gavin fight were dressed up as a pay-per-view on it. And then throwing him to Wolf Wolf's against Golovkin. I mean, who moves a welterweight up to middleweight without bridging it through uh, like middle? Who does that? What sort of person does that? Not only putting him in with a, a middleweight, the, the greatest middleweight of, of the era. The guy that's been icing people and not only icing them, smashing them to pieces. You saw what Golovkin did to Matthew Macklin and he were a world class fighter, Macklin. He were robbed for a world title against Stern, wasn't he? Well, Matthew Macklin got smashed a bit, so look at Kel Brook going in there a little welterweight. I mean, all this about he's a beast and he's a super middle, really, were just to sell the fight. He shouldn't have been in there with him. One eye socket smashed to bits, the other one half smashed to bits. Edward Spence just finished other eye socket off for him, didn't he? So, never going to be the same fighter again. Ruined by bad advice. Them around him should be ashamed. They know who they are. And for him to retire like this, I think it's... I think it's quite sad. Because he probably would have been the best fighter to ever come out of Sheffield, apart from Nazim Ahmed. He was that good. But I wish Kel Brook all the best. I like him. And I think he's technically unbelievable fighter. I've been to loads of his fights. I think he's unbelievable. But bad advice and people being greedy and that's the result. All washed up. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. And I wish Kel broke all the best. Good luck, Kel.